This is lesson 13, divide decimals by single digit whole numbers involving easily identifiable multiples using place value understanding and relate to a written method. In this first problem, we have 9 tenths divided by 3. In my place value chart, I show 9 tenths. I'm going to divide it into three equal parts. I have 3 and I have 3, and I have 3. 9 tenths divided by 3 equals 3 tenths. There are 3 tenths that make up the 9 tenths. 3 sets of 3 tenths that make up 9 tenths. This problem is 24 hundredths divided by 4. If I show this in my place value chart with 2 tenths and 4 hundredths, it's pretty hard to divide that by 4. But if instead I show it with, with only the, the units, the, the smallest units, hundredths, now I can divide by 4. So we're naming it in unit form. I have one set of 4. I have another set of 4 another set of four, another, another, and finally I have one right here. I have six sets of four, 24 hundredths divided by four is six hundredths. When I use the basic form, the unit form of the number, I can use the basic fact 24 divided by four equals 6. Using the unit form of the word allows me to do my division using a basic fact, but know that I am talking about hundredths. This question asks us, what is 1 and 5 tenths divided by 5? If I read it in unit form, I can say, what is 15 tenths divided by 5? When I say it that way, I realize that 15 tenths divided by 5 would be three tenths. There would be five groups of three tenths and fifteen tenths. This next problem has one and five hundredths divided by five. One way to decompose this number, or to name it in unit form, would be one hundred five hundredths. Another way to decompose it is into ten tenths and five hundredths. When we decompose it this way, and divide by 5. If I have 10 tenths divided by 5, I get 2 tenths. This would be 10 tenths. And if I have 5 hundredths divided by 5, I get 1 hundredth. So my answer, 2 tenths and 100, looks like 25, 21 hundredths, 2 tenths, 100. 1 and 5 hundredths divided by 5 is 21 hundredths.